how is your energy impacting everyone around you and how is their energy impacting you hi i'm ali bierman and you're joining me here today for let's get metaphysical connecting heart and mind and i'm your guide to demystifying how your world works so what am i talking about with the energy have you ever gone to a party and you walk into a room and oh there's somebody there you're getting vibes you want to meet the person you're making eye contact and you're going to go up to the person okay it feels good you want to know this person same party and there's no way this other person you're not going to make eye contact you're going to turn the other way you're going to make sure that person doesn't come near you what's going on you're feeling their energy and their energy is speaking louder than any words that they could say than any body language they could say but you know what you're doing the same thing all the time so how you feel about yourself is showing up in your demeanor but it's not just showing up in your body language it's also showing up in your energy what I was just talking about that's happening in the party in an office in a grocery store wherever you are so what can you do about it you can be aware you can pay attention to your beliefs because what you believe about yourself what you believe about the circumstances what you believe about the situation it's just beliefs it's not the truth it's not facts however those beliefs are thoughts that are driving the choices you're making and how you're feeling and that's what's causing your world to be the way it is so if you're somebody who wants to attract others to you if you're somebody who's in business and you want to attract new clients especially the ones that fit then pay attention to how you feel and the actions that you're taking and the words coming out of your mouth because they're all in your energy and they're going out they're going out to everybody I used to be in a grocery store and a stranger would come up to me and say their whole life story and all the problems going on in their world and suddenly stop themselves and say oh my goodness I'm sorry I've never done that before it feels just so comfortable talking to you that's because my energy was welcoming and here's something I learned about our energy we can control how far out it's going because I thought it was so cool and I was sending my energy out in a big wide field and it was going 30 feet and then my mentor who was one of my teachers of how to use energy to do energy work to heal to change lives he said that's not good so when I was in my ordination class I learned how to pull that energy in as close as I want it to be so if there was negative energy in the room and my aunt, I could feel it I would pull my energy in tight to me and even put a boundary on it and you can do the same so you have a choice of what your energy feels like when it's going out in the world and just an aside here if you're in a room if you're in any kind of environment whatever thoughts the people in there are thinking are impacting you so when I do a live class I will have one person up and demonstrate a yes and a no a lock and an unlock of a muscle an integrity and out of integrity and find it in the clear and then I'll go like this I'll hold my thumb up and have everybody in the audience think the word yes and I'll do it randomly and sometimes I'll have them think the word no in the meantime I'm testing this person who's a subject who volunteered what do you think happens when I'm going like this they're in integrity they're strong they're vital you go like that not so much 
So if you're in a space, if you're in an office, if you're in any kind of situation and it doesn't feel good, leave. If you can't leave, seal your energy, bring it in close to you and sealing it would be a good idea. One time I was testing somebody and no matter what I did, she wasn't responding to me. And I thought, this is really weird. What's going on here? And then I noticed her eyes were staring at something. We were in a meditation room where I was teaching the class and she was focused on a meditation symbol. And yes, symbols have meanings. So I asked her to close her eyes and then everything went back to normal. That's my message for you here today. Be aware of your energy. If you're feeling down on yourself, it's your choice to do that. And you can change your energy like that. Yeah, just change your thoughts. Thank you for joining me here for this quick message. And remember to join our Facebook group. Remember to check out our website for the podcast and make sure that you enjoy. That's capital I N, capital J O I, every moment, because nothing in the world's happening outside of you. It all happens within you. I'll see you next time.